Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you my very first attempt in doing butterfly locks. Standard procedure, you start with freshly clean and stretched out hair and moisturized. I started by braiding my whole head um, by the sizes of how I want my butterfly locks to be. These butterfly locks took over two days for me to do but that's because I was messing around as always so I would say it should have taken me about five plus hours. My braids are done and now it's time to apply the Darling Passion Plus. I only used one pack for my whole head. Because I'm doing shoulder length butterfly locks I only use one strand per section and I start by separating the section for frizz. With my crochet pin I put it through my section ensuring that the latch is open. Once it's right through, I put on the passion twist, only close the latch once it is secure, and then proceed to pull it through so it creates the loop, and only grab one side and pull it right through the section. I now proceed to grab my braid and one side of the passion twist and use the other one to wrap around both of them. So the first wrap, I will wrap it about three to four times just to keep it nice and taut and secure. And from there on, I start wrapping it in a downwards motion, still around my braid and the passion twist. As I'm wrapping it down, I make sure that I cover my braid so you cannot see it. And once I hit the length that I want, I'll proceed to make a loop around my index finger. I will then remove my index finger out the loop and take the piece and start wrapping it back in an upwards motion but in the opposite direction of how I was wrapping it coming down. I will wrap the piece all the way until the last bit. Once I reach the last bit, all I do is I just tuck it right inside the lock. And that is how I pretty much achieve my lock. To also achieve the more distressed looking locks, um, that's pretty much what makes the butterfly lock so unique is a distressed look. When you are wrapping it, you are able to do it untidily however you want to. That is how you create those loops that you see, um, the very fuzzy distressed looking locks that defies or defines the hairstyle. So as I'm wrapping it around my braid, the first three wraps will be nice and tight just so that the lock can hold and it doesn't really fall apart. And as I'm wrapping it downwards, I then start or proceed to do the untidy look, making loops, making it um, not as tight as the beginning. The side of the passion twist that you join with your braid becomes inseparable so there will be a time where you reach the end of your braid but there's still a piece of the passion twist left all you have to do is just continue wrapping as normal and once you reach your desired length do the loop around your finger and twirl it again in the upwards motion but in a different direction the key aspects into the butterfly lock for me are the beginning where you wrap it to secure the passion twist in the section then as you're wrapping it down making sure that you add the distressed look by doing it half untidy half neatly that creates that look the loop at the end where you want your length to be and then twirling it back in the opposite direction and tucking it in this is my finished look and i'll just style however i wanted to and i absolutely love it thanks for watching guys